A year ago, this young Malian, Diallo Haroun, returned home from the Ivory Coast. He lives in the village of Gorma Rarus in the desert just south of the River Niger. People here are farmers, but in recent years, drought and conflict have resulted in reduced harvests and a mass exodus. And not just in Gorma Rarus. Until recently, most of northern Mali's young people were migrating to cities and neighbouring countries, such as the Ivory Coast, Niger and Ghana, which has had a devastating impact on communities here, leaving villages and towns like Diallo's populated largely by children and the elderly. But now Diallo has come back because he has hope for a future here, something desperately needed for the country, says a local representative from the Ministry of Agriculture. We all know youth is the future of a country. If they are unemployed, they are always at risk of drifting and of creating problems. So to try and occupy these youths, to try to find work for these youngsters, is one of the most important things for a country. Shortly after returning to Mali, Diallo heard about a government project created to do just that. Supported by the UN's International Fund for Agricultural Development, the project offers training and work opportunities to local youth. Diallo bought a motor pump and was helped to develop a small business growing fodder, which he stores and sells to his neighbours. I've managed to feed our animals, and we can put some to one side in a storehouse. Then, at a certain time, I sell it. So with that money, I can cover all our needs. For many young people here, the chance to earn a living is reason enough to come home and stay. Five years ago, nearly all of these young people would have left. This young man, Hama Agisa, is another returnee. He was recently trained as a builder during the project's construction of a new irrigation system, which links the river Niger to his village. <laughs> The impact for me, as head of a family with children, is that now I have animals, a house and work tools. So for me, I'd have to say it is going well. And as more young people find employment, the local economy also benefits. But in the end, it's the presence of the young people themselves that spells hope for Mali's future.